Hello there my fellow fans, today's royal news. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly at risk of having their entire empire wash away because of their pension for private jets despite losing massive income chunks. Royal commentator Daniela Alsa weighed in on everything during one of her chats. The conversation arose once Ms. Alsa admitted the current state of their finances is a thorny question especially with the knowledge that they won't be paid their full payout from Netflix. This is dire news indeed, given the couple's penchant for private jets, polo and that time Meghan wore nearly $70,000 worth of clothing in only six days last year, Miss Elsa believes. Little wonder then what, when paparazzi photos of the Duchess emerged over the weekend, she looked stressed and about as unhappy as the day she le learned that Kensington Palace kitchens didn't automatically stock oat milk. Even their work with Ari Emanuel, Hollywood's mega agent, can't hope to match the payout that they were getting from the two streaming giants. In the eyes of Miss Elsa, even if this came off, the fee would not even be the same ballpark as their Spotify deal or the nine figures of their Netflix one. Before concluding, she also shifted focus to one major irony and claimed, well, the Duke and Duchess are facing a possibly grim financial future. Back in the UK, King Charles is busy giving <coughs> away the Crown Estate's cut of profit from a $1.8 billion wine farm deal because he wants to help Brits. So, while lots of hot air is paying off for His Majesty, lots of hot air just might be the Sussex's undoing, she added before signing off. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan allegedly can no longer afford to sign off on a dud deal, given their current financial standings. PR expert and Go Up chief executive Edward James Caram issued these claims. He started the conversation by noting that the couple simply cannot afford another dud deal being thrown their way, especially since their path seems to be narrowing as we speak. This warning has come even though Mr. Caram James is hopefully for a way back for the Sussexes. Mr. Karam James weighed in on everything and said, there is a way back for them, but that path is narrowing. But in order to do that, they need to keep to their content output commitments for any other projects that they are working on to show themselves to be reliable partners. They also need to see their popularity rise again, or at the very least stabilize, he warned during the course of his chat with the outlet. While urging the couple to drop their asking price, he also noted that the return of their popularity hinges on these charitable causes like Invictus. Before concluding, he also went on to say, if they care to listen to their crisis communications team, then this should be achievable, as there is a straightforward formula to it. If they can listen, I do wonder. That's our royal installment for today. Please like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.